Massachusetts Democratic Senate candidates had their first debate at the John F. Kennedy Presidential Library. The four candidates are vying for the seat of the late Ted Kennedy. The candidates are State Attorney General Martha Coakley, Congressman Michael Capuano, City Year founder Alan Kaze, and Celtics co-owner Stefan Pagluica. The senatorial candidates were eager to prove their commitment to Massachusetts and Kennedy's legacy. I want to go to Washington because I think we need to continue to protect our civil rights and the challenge of Senator Kennedy. I've been trained in the House to know the way of Washington and to, to change that now would be to say to Senator Kennedy that your 47 years of experience weren't worth much. I'll be tireless. I'll never give up. I'll never let you down. My pitch to you is let's keep these terrific leaders where they are and you get me too. On the issue of immigration, candidates Michael Capuano and Alan Kaze said the issue is personal because of their ethnic backgrounds. I know who I am. I'm half Irish, half Italian. I'm very thankful on a regular basis that my ancestors came here out of pure luck getting to this country. I know that and I respect My mother's side of the family is from Italy and my father's an immigrant from Iran. The candidates agreed on several issues. They support a public health care option and are against a troop increase in Afghanistan. WEBN caught up with Alan Kaze after the debate and asked his views on whether the U.S. should invest resources in other countries where Al-Qaeda are known to hide. You know, we're spending $65 billion in Afghanistan, only $2 billion in Pakistan. We need to go after Al-Qaeda all over the world. This is Mombi Michelle Kimani reporting for WEBN News.